Otaku. Otaku. O T A K U. Just in case anyone might be wondering how that spells. O T A C O. I want a fucking taco. <laughs> Uh, like, I legit had burritos last week, and for some reason, I'm still craving the Mexican food. I don't know why. So, hang on. If a if a wrap, burrito, and tacos are pretty much the same thing, just with different ingredients in some cases. Wait. A wrap? Hmm? Like, um... Actually, I don't even know what a wrap is. Is that like a different type of shell, or is that just where they grill it? Um, just think of uh, it's a burrito just with uh, different ingredients into it. I uh, have yeah. ham, cheese, chicken, stuff like that. Okay, so there's a difference between a burrito, a wrap, and a breakfast burrito. Because burrito is like, you know, basically the same shit you have in a taco, right? Huh. Whereas wrap is like whatever the fuck you feel like throwing in that shell. And a breakfast burrito is usually like, you know, bacon, ham, eggs, and shit like that. I, I thought wrap is just where you like what they do at like Taco Bell, where you like you make a burrito, but then you grill the shell. Which I've done that before, and oh my god, is it amazing question is, if you were to put beans, I said like a bean burrito or whatever, and put it in a taco, what would it be? I like put it in a taco shell. Just put a whole burrito into a taco. There you go. I, I don't know what the fuck you'd even call that, R. Pointless would be a word. <laughs> a taco burrito. There you go. I guess. <laughs> Shipness. Dude, they need to make more like fucking like f fast food that combines the food with junk food because like the Dorito burritos are awesome. I mean, Dorito tacos are awesome. The Frito burritos are awesome. There needs to be more things like that. Mm. So, hey guys, where's all this topic seems to be food? This means going on. Let's, Let's keep on going with this, because I want to ask. Okay, sure. I keep forgetting what a poutine is. What's a poutine again? It's um, fr it's fries, gravy, and cheese. Mainly cheese curds, but you can put any kind of cheese on it. It's basically all That's it is. Amazing, actually. It is. It's good. As, it's good as what it sounds. And the Canadians come out with the weirdest shit. <laughs> Routines, fucking milk in bags. And we don't have fucking... bag milk over here. We got tins. Tins. We got little cans, almost like can, like pretty much same can size. You get a can of peas. Oh yeah, we have that here too. You can get you can get that like in some places. Yeah. You so, could also get like the evaporated, like dehydrated milk. Yeah. Like powdered milk, which I've I've lived off that before because we were so fucking broke. So hey guys, um, welcome to part eight of Sonic Classic Heroes, and we'll be heading straight on to Chemical Plant. <laughs> How ironic, because just like the place shows up exactly where we're going, and it's just continuing with this. the best stuff. level. Let's just continue with this topic of food and see how hungry our viewers get. But I am fucking starving, and like <laughs> people just got home with food, and I'm hoping they're in there using it to cook. Oh uh -huh, god! Because me hungry. I'm trying to remember what I had for my lunch and dinner. I honestly don't remember. I honestly completely for. Oh, I had a bowl of cereal for lunch. That's what it was. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. Because, like, our microwave, we got a new microwave, but, like, um... Oh, shit. A, our freezer's still busted, and B... Like, our fridge has a little mini freezer at the bottom of it. And, like, that'd be okay if there was just, like, one or two people here, but, like, there's, like, nine. 
Tails. So we need that big freezer, and uh, we don't have that yet. MD, we haven't been to the proper grocery yet. Wee! Oh god. Yeah. So there really, even though we have a microwave, there isn't exactly nothing to really cook in it. And the only like thing we've been eating is we've been reheating soup in a crock pot. And then yes. Mass. So we can possibly like nuke that in the microwave if we really wanted it, but I think it's probably not gone by now. Yes. But, uh, also, I'm kind of burnt the fuck out on that shit. All right. Um, for anyone that's seen the last episode, I believe it was the last episode of this. Um, I put up a theory that I could find a game theory. The uh, first marker in Chemical Plant in under a minute. Now I know I took the top path a bit because I honestly forgot where I was going, and I didn't see the need of it. Because, uh, I, I used to forget where I was going all the time. I'd always get lost. But I part. decided to take the bottom path anyway, and I managed to find the first marker in. Was that 50... Was it 59 seconds? 59.57? Still under a minute. Good job. I think it's awesome. And that uh, marker that... Um, uh, you guys seen there earlier, that's the marker that I always go to for the last emerald because, like I mentioned in the last episode, I can never seem to get that sixth marker because that like I said that red spring mm -hmm. under that corkscrew does not launch me far enough and believe me I tried pain in the ass look at that the uh, I the uh, little picture behind the uh, act <coughs> numbers is like little buildings which is actually I I'm pretty sure that um the uh, pictures or the icons for the numbers is actually like... It's probably a Decepticon symbol, because apparently Sega serves the Decepticons. You know, I fuck it, I gotta make one Transformers reference per episode anymore, so fuck it, I'll talk about the fucking Genesis Megatron, man. And sure, it'll be relevant. Sonic 2 came out in Genesis. I still want that fucking thing. I want, no, I want the PlayStation... I kind of want the PlayStation Optimus more. Yes, I want to go this way. Guys, there's a particular I've reason why I always go this way. Two ring monitors. There's 20 rings. More rings here. Another ring box right here. This is what I call the... Uh, you know what? Ring. I just thought about it. The mm -hmm. PlayStation uh, 3 wouldn't turn into any Autobot. It would just turn into a creepy, crying baby. You ever see that PS3 commercial, that really weird one with the baby? Uh, no. Okay, all the, like, 2006 when the thing came out, all the original PlayStation ads, magazine, TV, whatever, Shit. were fucking weird and sometimes creepy as fuck. I remember there was one where, I remember there was a magazine ad where it had, like, a picture of an... But yeah. Or, like, an eye, an eyeball inside of an orange pill. What? And then there's the weird crying baby one, which you just gotta see for yourself. I'll send you a link to that, to that fucking mess later. There's a few other sure. weird ones, but yeah. And then there was, like, the weird, like, some of the PSP ones were weird, too. Like, the ones with, like, the fucking animated skulls and shit, those ones were fucking weird. Whoa. Yeah. PlayStations went through some weird air campaigns. Whee! I like the Ratchet and Clank commercials, though. Those are pretty good. Whee! I'm enjoying myself. Meh. But, um. I'm having fun. Yeah, like the, the PS3 air campaign is the weirdest shit. Come on. Guys, drop down. I mean, like, their newer campaigns, like the one where it has, like, fucking. That one commercial where it has all the Sony characters in a bar and fucking Sackboy is playing chess with Sweet Tooth. What? Oh, that's a good one. I love that commercial. Oh, I gotta show you these fucking old video oh, game commercials. Oh, someone just killed me. Some good ones. Someone just killed me. I don't know who it was. Someone just killed me. 
Thanks for that, fellas. I don't remember the commercial itself at all, but I just remember the If you can't see me on one of the uh, Kirby games. I don't know which one it was, even. Okay. Then there was, like, the fucking Nightmare in Dreamland one where it made a song. Dude, there was a bunch of weird, like, commercials back in the day. Speaking of which, I'm just going to go ahead and touch on this. Unintentional pun, totally intended. Mm -hmm. The original gas ad campaign, Touching is Good. Oh my god. Did they, did they not think about that? I mean, none of the ads, like, really made it sexual, but, like, this the slogan... Mm -hmm. If you think about that slogan too hard, it takes on a different meaning. Oh, that's... Oh, that right there. They just... I guess they just didn't see that. Hang on, let's see if I can get a good picture here. <laughs> oh, my God. Another one of my favorites. Um, huh? <laughs> what are you dying over? <laughs> Guys, when I put this video up, when you get to this part, have a look at Knuckle's face. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to watch it now. I'm gonna have to watch it now. <laughs> Oh, that is the thing. <laughs> I don't know how to timestamp videos, because if so, do that for me, so I can know where to go, because I want to Oh see my that. god, that is funny as hell. That's serious. <laughs> um, Especially his pupils, like, what the hell? Oh, another um, really good video game commercial that I, I love this one, I don't know why, was the original Ruby and Sapphire commercial, where it was showing all the new Pokemon next to people who looked a lot like them. Hmm. And I don't know, that, that commercial I just always liked. I thought it was cute. So guys, is Chemical Plant done? And good god, that was actually... I'm enjoying this as we go along. I and, can tell. And guys, and I'll probably still I keep doing, keep using the, um... Uh, going through the menu. But in case uh, that might bug out, I'll still use a save state as a backup. Oh my god. Yeah, that little scene there, just Knuckles face. Just have a good look at it and see if you can see what mm. I saw. Good lordy hell. I'm getting some links ready because I'm going to send you some video game commercials. Alright. So, guys, use a... Uh, oh yeah, speaking of game commercials, have a look at the... Uh, was it the... Um, Sonic Pinball Party ad? I believe it's uh, over... It's a Japanese commercial. It's a little weird. Someone did I wonder a, why. Maybe because it's Japanese. Because someone did a uh, reaction video to it, like a um, one of those like compilations to it. Oh, cool! It has two of the commercials I talked about right together. So, guys, here's a team formation on the like button if you guys enjoyed. And oh, good God! It's for some reason that. That sprite makes Tails' tail look extra fluffy. I don't get it. It's not normally like that. And if you guys, so we'll see you next one. We'll see you in Aquatic Ruin. So see you in the see you in the next one, guys. Just go send this dude funny and weird video game commercials. Oh God! Later.